Hey everybody, with TBC being announced and 70 upgrades being a thing now, I figured I'd take the tools available and make a quick gear guide for phase one. This will just be a walkthrough of what I'm planning on getting and why for both pre-raid and with the raids in phase one included. I made a few rules. I required nothing from heroics. I only allowed one badge item and one reputation item. Everything else can either be crafted, gained from a quest, or done through a regular dungeon. So I'm going to go ahead and start. You can see my whole item right here. And I'm going to start with the silent purple hat. Now this is a crafted leather working item, and it's great. It's easy to get because it can just be crafted by me, which I'll be leveling anyway. There are better items. Um, specifically, the two I looked at were Helm of Assassination, which is great because it has the yellow socket and the meta socket and Helm of the Claw, which is also great. If I get those, I'll probably wear those instead, but because I want to keep it as simple as possible and I don't have to farm every single instance, even though I'll probably be running the Steam Vault and Argotraz, if I don't get them, it'll be fine, but if I get those, I'll obviously take those just for the, the meta socket alone. Okay, so those are the items, but however, on my list, I'm going to stick with a style and purple hat because that's 45 stamina feels really good. Chain of Glowing Tendrils is my neck. Now, there are better, um, mainly the Necklace of the Juggernaut, which is has defense rating on it, which makes it great, and it's a badge item, which means with 25 badges, I can get that. However, I'm not going to allocate badges to this item at this time. Um, there are, uh, there are There's an Underbog Heroic Bone Chain Necklace, which doesn't have defense, so I don't care, but it is slightly better than the Chain of the Glowing Tendrils for Threat. For now, I'm going to stick with Chain of the Glowing Tendrils from Netherstorm. Um, it's actually just a quest item, so I should be able to get it pretty easily compared to Underbot Heroic or Badges of Justice. Okay, Shoulders of Assassination for my shoulders. Now, these are just great. I know because they have Assassination and the set bonus is specific to a rogue, you might think, I don't get these. These things are way better than pretty much anything else you can get. Now, there is the Mantle of Paranormal. I can't say this. With the two red sockets, pretty good too if you can get your hands on it. Obviously, I would recommend taking this as well. But if you can get these, the two yellow sockets, black with two stamina rock, or two stamina gems, makes this really good. Um, Seth that calls normal, I would recommend it. Like again, if you can't get anything, if you can only get the mantle of Pernold, take that too. Um, but I definitely would try to get the shoulder shoulder pads of assassination. Don't let a rogue tell you it's for them only. It's not. Okay, the Thorium Weave Cloak. This is pretty much the go-to cloak pre-raid bis. It's got, even actually not even pre-raid. Some people might be wearing this after Karazhan or after Phase 1. This is a really nice cloak. It's got 390 armor, 35 stamina. Now, it's considered the best. It drops in Mechanar, and it's a 20% drop rate. I consider this really good. The Resolute Cloak, which can be crafted by tailors, is a good one. I think it's going to be too expensive for me, so I'm not going to look at it. Plus, I'll be replacing it um, in Phase 1 anyway, so I don't want to waste a lot of gold or anything on something I can just get from a drop that's just slightly better. Okay, now, the Heavy Cleft Hoof set, if you're planning on tanking as a bear, you've heard this a billion times. You got to get this, you got to get this, and I'm not going to be any different. You got to get this thing. It's so good. So, in order to be a bear, you need two things for defense. You need, in your talents, you need Survival of the Fittest, which gives you a 3% um, chance to not be critically hit. Pretty much from the 5.6% you need to not be critically hit, that's over half of it. Now, for the other half, you need 415 defense. So, to get 415 defense, it's not that easy for leather. There's not a lot of defense gear. Um, like I showed you that necklace, that's one of the few. Heavy Cleft of Set has a ton of defense built into it, if, especially if you have like all three pieces. That's a ton of defense. So everyone gets them, then you can gem defense in them like I've done here with one of my gems. It's five defense rating in the middle. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a no-brainer. The, the armor, the stamina, it's a no-brainer, especially for early on. You'll obviously replace a lot of this stuff with the tier set, but for now, get it. Okay, so Umber Howl's Collar, ugh, Umber Howl's Collar is the next one. It is pretty much the go-to. It's a quest item, I believe, yeah. Um, Shadow Moon Valley, the Cypher of Damnation, third fragment. It's easy to get mm, relatively because you got to do Shadowman Valley, but it doesn't require you to farm me anything. The next best up is the Forest Heart Bracers. If you can get your hands on these things, get them. They're better in every way, 
except for strength slightly um and they're actually bis for phase one so if you can get your hands on these get them i'm not going to rely on heroics like i said so for now umber howl's cowers can be just fine okay so then earth warden this is my first item for reputation and only item for reputation it is Scenarian Expedition Exalted. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get, but it's literally one of the best weapons in the game for ferals. 500 armor, 39 stamina, 27 defense, 24 expertise, which is almost impossible to find, and then 712 attack power. Yes, there are items that have higher attack power, but because of the armor, because of the defense, and the stamina, this thing is hands down way better. Get it. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get, but get it. Okay, so then we've got the Verdant Gloves. So these are actually another quest in Shadow Moon Valley, a comma's promise. They are going to be the best things you can get. There's Wastewalker Gloves, which drop in Shattered Halls, which are pretty good too. In fact, because of the, the two sockets, you might argue that they're, they're better. Because of the extra armor on the Verdant Gloves, I would take it over the two slots. Just because armor is going to be really important early on. Because you're going to be hit really hard, and the armor is going to reduce that. And since you can't avoid crushing blows, this is the best thing you can do. Yes, obviously stamina would be a great thing because you can just have more. That's a choice you have to make. If you can get these, get these. If you've got these, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, Manimal's Chest. This is a green, but it's unbelievably well statted. It's got your three great stats on it. It's got 348 armor. Now, the Tree Mender's Belt, which drops in Hellfire Ramparts Heroic, is better. And obviously, if you can get this, take this. But I, I'm not relying on Heroics. This thing is better in every way, literally. With the exception of stamina um and it's only two stamina and it's the best in slot for phase one so get it if you can if not girdle the or sorry manimal's chest is really good and it's again a shadow moon valley quest so spend some time in shadow moon valley because a lot of stuff comes there okay we've got more heavy cleft hoof you can see here i put more defense rating in the gems um another 29 defense some great stamina great armor same thing with the boots uh defense gems Stamina, armor, all that good stuff. Um, there's nothing you can say about these. These are great. Okay, so Ring of the Unyielding Force. Sorry, of Unyielding Force. This is the one of the best defense rating rings. However, the cool thing about it is it's only badges. This is the only thing I plan on spending badges on is this ring. Yes, there is better um, in Kara. I believe it's Kara. Yours Revenge is really good too. So if you get your hands on the Mana Tombs Heroic Yours Revenge with a 2% according to this drop rate, sure, it's all yours. It's I would wear them actually side by side just because they're both really good. The defense rating would make re-gemming uh, like a, an ideal thing. You could, might even be able to replace one of your Cleft Hoof sets at this point. I wouldn't, but you could. Um, so yeah, if you've got Yours Revenge and you don't want to pay the armor, let's say you, you don't want to use your badges for Ring of Unyielding Force, you got Yours Revenge, you could then... Swap it and get Necklace of the Juggernaut. And look, I'm at 424. I could drop gems. I could maybe shave a couple. I, I mean, I wouldn't know where, but like maybe I could do something. Maybe I don't wear this Iron Band of the Unbreakable anymore, um, which would be the other ring I would choose to wear. Who knows? I mean, it depends on your drops. If you don't get it, well, you can always get Ring of Unyielding Force and go back to the Chain of the Glowing Tendrils. It's your choice. It, it's going to be flexible depending on what actually drops for you. Now, this is the only classic item I'm wearing. It's the Mark of Tyranny from way back in classic. It's great. The reason I'm wearing it is it pretty obvious. The armor is pretty much the only thing I can find right now that would be a good slot item for bears. 180 armor. It's equivalent to just under 1,000 armor in bear form. It's worth getting. You've got something. If you can get the Argusian Compass, you might want to wear that just because that stamina is really good. Um, there's also, let's get I mean, type this right, figurine, adamantine figurine. It's 32 defense. Now, if you're having problems getting defense pieces, this might be a good one to get. However, it's Shadow Labyrinth Heroic with about a 20% drop rate. Alternative to this is actually another BWL item, Eileen's impending scarab. Yes, I know. It's for warriors and maybe paladins because the block rating, but the defense rating of 20 is amazing. I mean, it's one of the few pieces you can get your hands on early on that has defense rating on it. It puts you in my setup over the defense cap, allowing you to maybe swap out some, uh, some gems here and there, maybe even a piece, uh, depending on what you've got at the time. This might be the thing that puts you over that 415 cap. So if you can get it now, get it because no one else really wants it at this time anyway. Um, but for now, I'm going to wear Marker Tyranny. 
and then the Violet Badge. Now, Violet Badge is actually really good stats, 36 stamina, um, 45 arcane, hold on to it, you'll use it later. Um, but it's part of the new directive quest, which is a quest to get into Karazhan anyway, so you're going to pretty much get this no matter what. Hold on to it, it's a great stamina or trinket, and I'm planning on using it walking into Karazhan. Okay, now, Idol of the Raven Goddess is the idol I'm choosing. It's pretty much just crit, however, there are other choices. This one's nice because you're going to get it no matter what when you do the um, Swift Flight form anyway. There's a couple other you might want to get. Idol of the Wild, which is also part of the, I believe, the same chain. Um, oh, Hellfire Peninsula. Yeah, Colossal Menace. So it's just going to, these are just kind of going to fall into your lap. You're going to get a bunch of them. So you kind of got to figure out how you're going to play and what you're going to use. I think there's one that boosts, um, I think it's Savagery. No, I can't find it. There's one that like boosts your Idol of Ursac. It, it increases your last rate. Eh, whatever. I still think Idol of the Raven God's great because you can use it for any spec and it's good for each one of them. So hold on to that. Um, yeah, so this is my this is my current setup. It's gonna give me 14,280 walking into Kara, 416 defense, which is the cap, and 24,770. Now I believe the defense cap, or sorry, the armor cap is 35,000, so I'm well short, but the way that armor works is the closer you get to the cap, the less the armor value actually benefits you. So right now the damage reduction is 70%. If I were to get up to 30, it would probably be about 72%. So that extra 5,000 is only going to help me 2% more. Um, yes, it's going to be valuable. Yes, I'm going to get it. But I'm not going to make it like the most crucial thing in the world if I can't get all the way to 30k. However, I'm going to show you now my tanking set for at the end of phase 1 which will be just under 30k. See the 73.8, still not the 75% reduction, but it's getting there. Um, I've got uh, 415 defense, 14,000, pretty much the same amount of health, um, but more crit chance, more dodge chance. So overall, it's gonna be a pretty good set. Now this is the point where I'm gonna start probably swapping out as I get items, probably swapping out the stamina gems and start getting more agility gems to, to increase the dodge chance and increase the armor chance, or sorry, the armor. Um, this is currently what I'm rocking. I'm rocking this adamantine figurine because the breastplate of Malorn set doesn't come with any defense, like it, on any of it, like the the Malorn set in general. So you've got to, instead of having that chest and those legs that you got from the heavy cleft hook, you have to find defense other places. Um, some places I did find it is the Gilded Thorium Cloak. It's 24 defense rating. The stats are actually lower not counting the defense, than the Thorm, uh, Thorium Weave Cloak that we were talking about in the previous. But because of that defense, defense is so important at this point, I'm going to request this when we walk into Karazhan. Even though it's, you know, stat-wise, a slight downgrade, it, because of the defense rating stat, it's an upgrade. And by putting this on, you're allowing yourself to get out of the Cleft Hoof set, which is important because though it's a great set, it has no threat. It's just, you know, mitigation. Which is good, but okay. So now I'm still rocking the ring of the unyielding force. However, I've swapped out that blue ring. Um, I don't think it was called the Iron Band of Unbreakable, and I'm now putting on the violet violet signet of the Great Protector. 392 armor on a ring is crazy. 37 stamina and yep, some more defense rating. There are better defense rating rings. Um, I believe actually the Unbreakable. Yeah, it's right there. And then the I think where's the other one I was wearing. Yeah, your revenge is 20. If I can get those, maybe I'll swap them. Um, but I've got my defense rating here as it is, so I'm not too stressed about getting the defense rating. I really like this ring. The armor makes it amazing. Um, again, I'm stuck with the adamantine figurine because of the defense rating problem. If I can find something better, I might wear it. I, I can't wear stylines because I need more, so I had to kind of hope that I'll get this. If not, if I'm stuck with stylines or something like that just to get that defense cap, I might have to re-gem. See, I did a lot of stamina. Instead, I might re-gem those with some defense rating, um, which would kind of bring me back over because I'm still at 410, so maybe like one or two gems here and there. I think if I were to go and re-gem this one. Enduring. Puts me to 412, so I probably need to gem at least one more. Um, and that's something I might have to do if I can't get that horribly named 
17 or something like that uh trinket so this is really going to be a factor in what i end up actually getting if i can't hit this defense cap then i'm going to have to wear like possibly another solution i had was instead of getting this i would pop on um i hopefully by then i'd have the commander and the, i'll still wear the violet and then instead of wearing these graves of Malorn, because you only need four out of five to get the set I might put my heavy cleft hoof back on, which puts me right at 416. I can gem these all stamina if I want to. Getting my health even higher, getting my defense cap. Yeah, I would lose some threat from wearing, uh, from not wearing, I should say. One second. From not wearing the Malorn pants, but I mean, you got to hit your caps, you know. You got to make sure your defense cap. That's priority one. Um, but I don't know. Well, I might find different ways. Anyway, but this is my kind of my like my work for my set. Um, I hope that information helped. I hope you were able to kind of see where I came from and what kind of modifications you can make um, to yours to get where you want to be going into Karazhan and Girl's Lair and the such. Yes, the purple hat isn't the greatest look. Uh, but again, I mean... That one's not either, in my opinion. Anyway, um, hope this helped. Um, have a good day.